Hi, Rebecca here from simplesuburbanliving.us and in this video I'm going to show you how to make yogurt in an Instant Pot. Okay, so of course you have to first plug in your Instant Pot and for this particular recipe you do need to have an Instant Pot that has a yogurt button and I will link to uh, the one that I have in the description below. So anyway, the first thing that you're going to do is um, you're going to pour milk into the Instant Pot. And so I'm, I'm pouring in a half a gallon of milk and I am using whole milk. You can use 2%, you can even use skim, but it might turn out a little bit thinner. So that's something to be aware of. All right, and then you'll put the lid on. And you'll turn the valve on the top to the sealed position. Then you're going to hit the yogurt button and then adjust. And it will go to where it says boil on the uh, little monitor here. And what's going to happen is it will take a little bit of time to bring it up to a boil. And it will boil for a while. And then when it's done, it will change to where up here it says uh, yogurt or Y-O-G-T, something like that right up in here. So I'm going to pause this now and I'll come back to you when it gets to that point. Okay, you can see that the screen now displays yogurt and that took around 20 to 25 minutes in my Instant Pot and um, so yours is probably going to be similar. All right, now the next thing that you're going to do is remove the lid and try not to let any water from the lid drip into the yogurt. If you can keep that from happening, that's great. All right, now I'm going to do something that isn't in the typical instructions and yet I came across it. Unfortunately, I can't remember where, but I think it's a great suggestion, so I do it all the time. And that is to hit the yogurt button again and then it will go to boil again. And you're going to let it uh, stay at this setting for five minutes. Now there's no timer uh, for this, so I'm just going to set one on my stove. And the reason for this extra step is that it obviously doesn't hold it at that as high of a temperature as when the lid is on but it is going to cook it just a little bit more and that will help it to uh, in the end come out a bit thicker than if you didn't do this step. So we're going to wait five minutes and then I'll come back to show you the next steps. Okay that five minutes is up the timer just went off so now I'm going to remove the inner pot from the instant pot and I'm going to put it on a uh, cooling rack to cool. Okay, so it's sitting on the rack now and I have handy this uh, thermometer and we need to let it cool until it comes down to 115 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the thermometer in and we'll see what temperature it is now. I know it's way over 115 because it just finished the cooking process, or the boiling process. Okay, it took a minute there but it's starting to go up. So see, it's hitting 120. All right, so I think it's probably going to end up, if I hold it in there a little longer, it would probably go up to around 130, and we need it to be 115. So I'm going to pause the video now, and then I will um, come back when it's cooled down to 115 degrees to show you the next step. By the way, while you're waiting for it to come down to 115 degrees, you can go ahead and get ready for the next step. So you can see that I have two bowls and a spoon and some Chobani Greek nonfat yogurt. So first let's talk about this bowl that's empty. When the temperature comes down to 115 degrees, I'm going to use that spoon to skim off the, you know, the there's kind of like a film that will develop on the top of the uh, milk and I'm just going to skim that off with a spoon and put it into this bowl. 
and then what I'll do is I will use a half cup measure to um, put a half cup of yogurt into this bowl of the Chobani yogurt and that's two tablespoons of yogurt and uh, so you may as well get this stuff ready to go and then that way when it cools you'll be all set okay so it's now um, cooled down to 115 degrees and you hopefully can see that there's sort of this like little film wrinkly looking uh, thing on the top and I'm just going to use my spoon and very gently you can see how it kind of gathers it together I will um, scoop that up and put it into the bowl now I'm going to take a half a cup of the uh, hot milk and put it into this dish with the yogurt <clears throat> and I'm just going to stir it up and then I will add it into the pot there's just my coffee pot beeping if you heard that sound okay so you can see it's it's mixed in there pretty well and I'm just going to take it and pour it into the pot with the rest of the yogurt and stir it up all right now we're going to put it back into the this uh, inner pot back into the instant pot okay I have put the lid back on and I'm going to plug the instant pot back in okay and now I'm going to hit the yogurt button and instead of um, adjust I just hit actually I do hit adjust so I hit the yogurt button and then adjust and I want to bring this down to eight hours I'm not sure. okay now what I do want to say something about the timing of it and that is that um, some people like to do it for nine hours some for ten and there are a couple of factors that will impact this when I set it at eight hours it comes out th uh, thick enough to my liking and if I want to thicken it I can um, like strain it through a coffee filter and then it will become really thick like Greek yogurt um, I like doing it for eight hours because it's not very tart that way and then I don't feel as inclined to want to put sugar in it if I'm using it on you know fruit or whatever else so I do it that way you can also experiment with nine or even ten hours if you prefer a more tart uh, flavor to it okay so you'll notice that um, after it I set it to eight hours that um, it went to zero and what's going to happen is right here this is going to change to up oh, it just did to one that basically <laughs> means one minute and whereas a lot of the instant pot uh, settings and recipes it counts down with yogurt it counts up so this will count up until it gets all the way to eight hours and at that time it'll beep and uh, the yogurt will essentially be done but I'll come back at that point and I'll show you what happens then